Welcome back. So we're talking about the uh, human needs psychology, the six human needs uh, as the fundamental model uh, underlying <clears throat> the uh, uh, wonderful coaching work of uh, Tony Robbins and uh, Chloe Madonis and how uh, the first five levels of consciousness development in our, our uh, uh, clinical theory of everything model, it's, it's really drawing originally uh, from from the five uh, the five element model of traditional oriental medicine uh, it comes out of Taoist yin yang philosophy uh, <clears throat> how that correlates how we can map one into the other so that we can speak the same language or if we're speaking different languages we can understand each, each other very important uh, so we talked about uh, in the first two levels in human psychology, human need psychology, uh, being certainty and comfort, and that tr mapping into the the certainty of the mind, the comfort of the body, uh, and those being related to the bottom of the heart, the comfort of of you know just feeling gratitude for what is, uh, being in a comfortable state and comfortable environment, and and the the. The concept that that certainty is uh, is a mental state that we know we understand we have certain knowledge. There's a coherence. There's a comfort of coherence in time that we identify with the mind. The mind is a transcendent process that transcends time and space. And we'll talk more about the the, the quantum mechanics of that and how we model that, so that uh, we can come up with interventions through our model uh, that we might not otherwise think of. But <clears throat> Again, that's a review of where we're at. We've looked at uh, the first level, certainty and comfort, being the bottom of the heart, and then the, the top of this next sphere that surrounds the heart that's about at the top, the, uh, the thinking, like and we speak our mind. Uh, and at the bottom of it gets into variety and change, the next level of the human needs, variety and change, variety being a sensation that we only have sensation when there's variety from one moment to the next, which is a form of change. And then the other form of change is active change, where we change the environment, where we change our position, our posture, our movement. We change, we manipulate and control things you know, with our hands. We locomote in space with our feet. So we're expressing through motoric expression through the movement system. Uh, and that's that's governed by this bottom of the, you know, and thinking is movement. You know, when, when we think about a, a serving a tennis ball, if we have EMG, electromyographic uh, sensors on, on the muscles here in the shoulder, we can actually measure when you're thinking to, to move, thinking of that stroke, uh, because the muscles are activated in the thinking of it. So it's a subtle motion at the top of the, of the sphere, this toroidal vortex that surrounds the heart vortex that energizes the, the bigger ones as we grow spiritually and integrate more. So uh, again, the, the subtle movement of thought and the more active overt movement of movement uh, where we change our environment. And then we get sensory feedback that completes that loop, sensory motor control mm -hmm. uh, with cognition in the, in the loop. So the, the, the input Put, put, output model of you know computing. So now we're moving on, moving on to from that was one, three, four, and five. Uh, two we're going to get to in a moment, which is the top of the heart that relates to joy, love. Uh, but first, significance, understanding, would be uh, the wood element, the liver. Uh, this is vision. This is uh, being able to see the big picture. It's beyond just movement, now we have a plan, we have a map. So when we're receiving sensation, which is, tells us the terrain, the territory, we can compare it to the map. We can learn, oh, hey, something changed here, or this isn't on the map, I'm gonna add it to the map, to my mental map. Uh, crucial to understand inner vision, outer vision, visualization versus sight. The two together are essential for this understanding and for wisdom. Wisdom is knowing when not to act, even more than it is how I can act on that, how I can make that change. But do I understand 
why I might not want to make that change right now. Okay, so that's level six in our nine levels, and it's level three in Robbins Madonna's uh, model of human needs psychology. Next we have, <clears throat> we bring in the, uh, the, the joy at the top of the heart as, as love, love and connection. Well, love is, is just within. We feel love. We can feel love, just the feeling, sensation, of an internal sensation, uh, what I would, uh, an emotion, uh, electronic motion within the, the body, within the spirit body, we're, we're sensing that. Um, <clears throat> And and on the outer, it's it's the the bottom of the visual sphere is our second chakra, which is which is our navigation. Like this, is our navigation in space, and we see the stars. Well, our navigation in the social sphere is down here on the second chakra. You know, it's it's a, about about reproduction. And it's also which is what we are. We're fractal beings. Everyone has a mother, right? It's a human being comes from a human being comes from a human being comes from. As my father always loved to say, you know, God bless him. He's here with us too. I know. Uh, he used to love to say, "Remember, you come from a long line of successful lovers." It's it's just a good thing to remember. Uh, so we have that joy of love at the top of the that we receive it's grace that we receive at the top of the heart chakra and then expressing expressing in our visual spatial navigational realm of 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 space time you know here here now in the space time continuum of the social sphere we have relationship so connection and love connection and love connection and love. Two different things, but they're related. And so in the human needs psychology, they're chunked into one, but with two words, interestingly, because as, again, as we see it, two different aspects of the connected feeling. Why the heart, you know, in oriental medicine is the, the one that connects the other elements. The fire element is the connector. The heart is the connector. It's the transcendent element within, transcendent to connect within, just like the wood element, the final one in the five elements is the one to transcend and connect back out. And the metal is the one that brings in the transcendent in the first place. We bring in the breath the sh the, to, to build the Shen in the heart. We bring in the Jing, the, the, the spirit minerals, the white, the, uh, the animal spirit or the white cloud spirit. Uh, so uh, Beyond that, now we have the fully transcendent dimension that's the first and seventh chakras on this transcendence, fully transcendent sphere of uh, what is called growth or the divine connection where we can you know, just grow. There's no limit to growth. We're, we have divine connection. We're a cell in God's body. And, and contribution where we're now bringing that, that divine connection present and manifesting it here on earth and able to give out and in the hero's journey we're going to go back through those those all those levels and stages and fully integrate them as we then give out that that divine presence that we've been able to manifest and experience experience and manifest within ourself it's, it's made complete in the giving thanks bye